Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, let's talk about how StubHub works. So what exactly is StubHub? Well, StubHub is a website that allows you to go ahead and buy and sell tickets from actually almost everywhere around the world. It is the world's largest ticket marketplace with over 10 million sports, music, theater in over 40 countries. So it is a global community which means that if you want to go ahead and buy a ticket somewhere in I don't know, a different country, you can actually do so. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we would do that. So say for example, let's take a look at uh, a ticket in uh, for Taylor Swift right here. When you go ahead and click on it, you should be able to see all of the different locations and all of the ones closer to you as well. And then there will be some pricings right here in terms of how much it would be. There are some dates right here as well. So say for example, let's take a look at this one right here. And then just go ahead and click on OK to got it. To go ahead and purchase a ticket. As you can see, you can go ahead and select either on the actual map itself right here or through this listing right here. You can also go ahead and, you know, add in in terms of what your pricing range is and how many number of tickets you want. And you know, there are some more features right here as well. And then once that you're happy, say for example, this one right here, go ahead and read through. It will give you in terms of, you know, how much you will pay for each. The quantity right here is one, say we have one right here. And then what kind of, you know, transfer it will be it will be a mobile transfer sometimes you will get a pdf or even the physical ticket itself there is a 100 percent guarantee and then it is a full refund if it is cancelled so just go ahead and read through all of this and then here are the secure payments once that you're happy you just go ahead and click on buy now and then this will take you to the information itself go ahead and add payment and then Eventually, you will have your ticket right there. But say, for example, that instead of you know buying a ticket, you actually want to sell ticket. To so say, for example, once again, let's go into Taylor Swift right here, and then there will be this section right here where you can go ahead and click sell tickets. Now go ahead and select in terms of you know where you are into uh, the ticket itself. So this is, for example, we have a ticket in Zurich which we want to go ahead and sell so we were going to go ahead and you know um, list the actual ticket is up so what kind of ticket is it is it a mobile transfer so it seems in this one in zurich it is just mobile transfer sometimes there are once again you know pdfs and physical uh, tickets itself are you ready to transfer go ahead and say yes or no if you want to transfer later on and then just go ahead and add in the details itself right here so for example, you know, we have all of this right there. And then just go ahead and add in how much the face value of the ticket is. So how much you actually bought the ticket for. Add in some features and comments, any disclosures right here, and then go to pricing. Now you want to go ahead and add in the manual pricing. So this is how much you want to sell the ticket for. So it gives you an estimate as to how much this are usually so it's in between 900 to 1800 euros so that's how much it is being sold at the moment so say for example you know just add this in there will be some service fee uh, itself in terms of how much it will be and then this will be the actual payout or how much you will receive go ahead and set the price and then add in information that you have here so what kind of a seller are you a private seller or professional seller and then add in all of your information right here and tax add, add in account details and make sure that you have your bank account set as well and there you go so those are the things that you can go ahead and do with StubHub. i hope that you have found this tutorial useful see you guys next time